She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug. But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the Ocean House this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. What's shaking? What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Man, that's a tough one. Bounty Hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Well, I wouldn't normally tell you this, but since you did help me out, Tripp down at the pawn shop. He's a little fried and paranoid, so he don't usually sell guns to anyone, but just tell him all Arthur sent you. We'll set you up, all right. Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. 
Since then, he's been in and out for this and that, small time stuff mostly. That's right, Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell money is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful, you're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you, you hear me? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 sorry about that, uh, here you are. All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. Thanks for coming back. What you need? No. Oh, oh, damn it. Who told you that? All right. Look, I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street, you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. I'm not exactly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. If you catch my drift here. Look. No. I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. All right. Come and take a look, then. Mayor, it's Mike. Look, I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, tell him to meet me down there. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. 